Working in the COVID-19 posture did present some challenges, but there were none that we weren't able to overcome. We continue to process requests from the ATO, such as the waiver we approved for the air show at Oshkosh. We actually sent an air traffic safety inspector there to observe some of the operations and then shared that information with the ATO, whose relationship we have been fostering during this time to build a more collaborative approach to oversight. And of course, we continue to monitor the activities that stem from our oversight engagement. So in other words, we manage to maintain a continual loop of oversight, even in the face of incredible challenges. In this COVID-19 environment, we virtually brought a team together and conducted a thorough gap analysis of 11 of our QMS work instructions, including the surveillance process of which they support. We were also innovative in developing analytical tools that help us surveil the NAS such as the Safety Oversight Risk and Assessment Tool, and one that was totally developed by AOV employees called Hayburner. Hayburner allows our inspectors to quickly analyze a number of air traffic operations across the NAS without having mandatory or electronic reporting to identify any potential risk. In AOV, we completed all of these initiatives that were not only tied to our business planning efforts, but were also aligned with activities within our AOV 2025 strategic plan.